Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our third video as part of our series of video of our playlist, Tally's latest release 6.0. In this video, we will learn how we are going to import your bank statement into Tally Prime. In the previous video, we saw about the connected banking services where currently Tally supports two banks, Access Bank and Kotak Mahindra Bank. But if you have your account in any other bank, you can import your bank statement for reconciliation and various other banking activities. So let us go to Tally and explore the feature of importing your bank statement into Tally Prime. In the last video, we learned step to connect your bank if you are banking with Access Bank and or Kotak Mahindra Bank, which are available for connected services as of now. We also saw how we can get balance instantaneously from Tally Prime and also learned how to import bank statement again from Tally Prime without requiring to log into your bank portal. The big question you might ask, if I do not have account with these two banks, can I not use banking feature made available in release 6.0? You can. Kindly note that except for online balance viewing and getting bank statements directly from Tally Prime, all other banking features can be leveraged by you. You can import bank statements after downloading from your bank portal into Tally manually and conduct other banking activities. In this video, we shall learn steps as to how to import downloaded bank statement into Tally Prime. The first step that you will have to take is log into your bank portal and download your bank statement. Important information, you will have to download the bank statement in Excel or CSV format. Currently, Tally supports these two formats only. Then create a folder and place your imported bank statement in the folder. Now we are ready to import your bank statement into Tally Prime. To import, click on import and from the drop down menu, select bank statement or press K. Click on K. Now we will get the import statement information. You will see the list of all your bank ledgers that you have created in Tally Prime. There are certain information you have to capture in your bank ledger while creating or if you have already created in the alteration, you have to capture certain information. Now quickly, we will make sure that you are capturing all the relevant information in your bank ledger. Let us go to the bank ledger and take a look at the key fields to be captured. We are viewing the bank ledger. Now, if your bank ledger screen looks like this, then you will have to enable to provide bank account details. So how do we do that? Press F12 configure and on the right side here under bank detail, we have this option provide bank account detail for bank ledgers. If it is no, Come here and set it to yes and accept the screen by pressing control A. So you should get this bank account detail here. So the account name will be auto populated based on the company name that you create. Account number, provide your bank's account number. IFSC code, capture the IFSC code. Swift code, you can leave it blank. Next, very important. When you come down to bank name, you will get the list of all banks supported in Tally Prime. Here you will have to select the bank. I have selected ICICI Bank India. Note, as mentioned in my first video, you should have valid TSS only then you will be able to configure this. Enter branch name and the next option, set alter bank configuration. It is set to no. Currently leave it as it is no. Now save the bank ledger by pressing Ctrl A. Once this information are captured, when you come to import bank statement, we have the 
list of your bank ledger along with the bank account number. So select ICICA bank here under the file path. We have to select your bank folder name where you have copied your imported bank statement. Now there are two ways of doing it. If you know the path of your bank file, click on specify path. If you know the name of the folder, specify the path and the folder name or you can select this option, select from drive, go to the drive where you have your folder, select and I have created a folder called bank statement, enter, select this folder. Under file type, by default it is supported, make sure that it is selected as supported, enter and now you are able to view the imported bank statement. Now for ICICA bank, I have imported two different period. So one statement I have imported from November to December and the other statement I have imported from January to March of the same bank. Let us select November and December statement to import. Select and press enter. Now this option show preview by default it is set to yes. So by setting this to yes, before you importing the bank statement, you can actually view your bank statement in tally. So let us press enter and once you accept, now the bank statement is getting imported. Now this is the list of transactions as per your bank statement. Now to import this information into tally, click on import button or press I. When I click on import, it is importing. You will see the imported period. It says data from 5th November to 27th December. It is imported the data and there are 19 transactions which have been imported successfully into tally. Now to view the imported statement in your book, click on bank reconciliation summary or press yes. And here we are in the bank reconciliation summary. Take your cursor to the current period, click on the current period. And when you press enter, you will see this report in two sections. The first one it says available only in books. So there are 14 transactions that you have captured in your books of accounts in tally and the section 2 says available only in bank where there are 19 transactions which has been imported which we saw in the earlier screen. There are five more extra entries which are reflecting in the bank statement and not reflecting in your books of account. In the upcoming videos, we will learn how to view the difference and how to reconcile book entries with the bank statement. Another important note you have to remember that all bank transactions which are imported into tally will be displayed in blue font and book entries will be in the normal black font. Now for some reason, let us say you want to revert this action or you want to reset bank statement data. Can you do so? Yes, you can revert or you can reset your bank statement data. So click on F1 help and from the drop down list, select troubleshooting or press R and you will see the option here which says reset bank statement data. So click on reset bank statement data. So you have to select which bank statement that you want to reset. So we had imported ICICA bank, select the bank. And in case if you have reconciled some of the transaction, then if you want to retain the reconciliation status, you can set this as yes. However, in our case, we have not reconciled yet. It doesn't matter whether we set it as yes or no. Enter. Now you have to specify the period for which you want to reset the bank statement data. So we had imported November. Just type N, enter and type D, enter. We do not want to take backup. So just say no, enter. And now read this information. It says this action will retain the status of fully reconciled transaction because you have made it as yes. 
and additionally any partially reconciled transaction will become unreconciled so we will understand what is this partially reconciled at the later stage so do you want to continue all you have to do is just press enter and now you get this information setting of banks or the selected period is successful so we can see here the bank statement which is in blue now when i press any key tally is removed all the imported information of your bank statement and it is reset it now another important note that you have to remember that if you want to once again import the same statement let us see what happens so let us go back to gateway of tally do the same step for importing click on import select bank statement we will select bank ledger as icici bank so the folder since we have already selected earlier it is uh, remembering and retaining it press enter supported and now you will notice that the imported statement of icici bank for the month of november and december is not getting listed here once you import any statement tally will internally rename as imported with additional hyphen imp all imported files will not be listed here now how do we get this so that we can reimport the same for this follow these steps to reimport open your folder where the bank statements are saved so this is the folder where our bank statements are there and if you notice here it has added hyphen imp which means it is renamed the file that is why it is not getting listed now for you to get the same statement listed for reimporting very simple all you have to do is rename this right click and select rename just come to the end and just remove this hyphen imp and click so now the file is renamed minimize this and since we are already in this report just it is not refreshed so come back now go to import bank statement select the bank enter bank statement supported and now you will see that icici november month and december month file is getting listed so now you know how to import this statement into tally in the next video we shall learn how to use this bank statement to reconcile your books of accounts i hope this video will give you a clear idea of how you can import your bank statement and also we learned how just in case if you want to reset your banking data how we can reset the banking data and re-import your banking statement so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much